so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey, it's me, Blippi! And today we're at the Bellevue, Washington Fire Station. And today we're going to learn about fire trucks, ambulances, and the fire station. Look at what it is. This is a big red fire truck. Whoa, come check it out. Ooh. Wow, look at all these gauges. Huh, so interesting. Hey, look. It's a compartment with a lot of cool things in it. All right, let's go look at the fire station. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> all right, check out in here. So, it's really important for firefighters to stay nice and fit. Like over here, these weights. These are bicep curls, and they make your arms nice and strong. It's really important for firefighters to stay in shape, because when they go in houses that are burning, they might need to carry someone down the stairs or up the stairs, and then down the ladder. <laughs> oh, hey, look! Whoa, medicine balls. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love exercising. Hey, some jump ropes. Have you ever jumped rope before? Check this out. See, every time I jump, the rope goes underneath my feet one time. And now, I'm going to make it go, oh, <laughs> I messed up. I'm going to make it go under my feet two times every time. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Woo, that's tiring. <sighs> Being physically fit is really fun. All right, this is a treadmill. It's where you can walk and then be in one place. See? And you can also run. Whoa, here I go. It's getting faster and faster. Whoa. Now I just went really fast. All right, hit the tunes. <sighs> That's fun. Oh, hey, pull-ups. Woo! Now, last but not least, the bench press. This is a great way to keep your upper body nice and fit. So then, like I said, firefighters can help people and they're nice and strong. Yeah! All right, now let me show you the rest of the fire station. Come on. Woo! Check this out. Whoa. <laughs> so, not only do firefighters eat healthy and exercise at the fire stations, they also have to sleep because firefighters are here day and night. And just like you and I, firefighters need to sleep. And the reason why firefighters have a bed at the fire station is because they need to be really close to the fire trucks and ambulances just in case if there's an emergency. So, nighty night! Oh, wait a second! No time for sleeping now. I want to show you an ambulance. Let's go! Ooh, look at what it is. It's a medic unit, also known as an ambulance. Let's go check it out, come on. Let's look inside the cab. Whoa, 
Now we're inside the ambulance. All right, let's shut the door. First things first, safety first. Let's put on our seatbelt. All right, here it is. <laughs> All right, now we're ready. Whoa, what's this? It looks like a giant map. Whoa, you can use this so then you can see where you're gonna go. Um, right there. <laughs> All right. Oh, a computer? Whoa. This tells you where you're gonna go, like the address, the information, all about the call that you're doing. Oh, hey, look, a steering wheel. <laughs> that was the horn. Hey, move. We're going to help some people. Whoa. Whoa. What are these? These are headsets. Listen. Hello, hello. It's Medic Flippy. Do you need help? All right. We're going to come help you. <laughs> That's awesome. Whoa. Check this out down here. The siren. Listen. <laughs> If you ever hear that and you're in a vehicle or on the sidewalk, get to the side because the ambulance is going to help someone. All right, and this right here turns on all of the lights. Go check them out. Whoa, the lights are so bright. Oh, check out this compartment. I wonder what's inside. Oh, hey. <laughs> this right here is a heart rate monitor. It gives all the medics the information about your heart. And this, this yeah, is a medical unit pack. Whoa, there's so many interesting things in here. Whoa, hey, like a stethoscope. hear my heartbeat. Wow, that is so interesting. All right, let's lock this back up and go check out what else is around here. Ooh, whoa, another compartment. This is where all the firefighter gear is. See, here's some jackets. Oh, hey, and here's even a helmet that they wear when they go into areas with fires. Hey, do you know another time that you should wear a helmet? when you ride a bicycle. <laughs> All right. Oh, the back of the ambulance. Oh, get ready. Whoa. Look at this. This is the stretcher. Watch out, here it comes. This is what you might get a lay on sometime. And if you do, just be very calm. The people are trying to help you. All right, let's leave this right here. <laughs> All right. Oh, let's go inside the back of the ambulance. Let's go. Oh, here we are. This is another entrance. Come on. Whoa, it's so bright and light in here. Wow, very interesting. Oh, hey, look at what it is. It's another stethoscope. <laughs> Put it on my ears. Listen. Do you hear that? Yeah, that's my heart beating. I'm nice and healthy. <laughs> All right. Put that right there. What else is around here? Oh, hey, look. Rubber gloves. I'll put one of these on. Oh. All right, these keep my hands nice and clean. 
when I'm working in the back of the ambulance. Hey, what color is this? Yeah, it's the color blue. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, look at this. Ew. Do you see this? That's Mr. Yuck. And if you ever see Mr. Yuck somewhere, do not eat it. Don't drink it, and we should probably stay away. <laughs> Let's look in another cupboard. Hey, like this one. Wow, that's interesting. A lot of medications and things to help people if you're in trouble. Hey, just know, if you ever need to ride in an ambulance, be careful, be nice and calm, because the people in here are just trying to help you. Well, let's go have some more fun. Whoa, what is that? That looks like a hospital on wheels. It's an ambulance. It's an ambulance. It's an ambulance. It's an ambulance. It's a little hospital. It's a vehicle that can transport people who are sick or hurt to the nearest hospital with a medical team that rides around always ready for people who need help it's now. It's an ambulance. It's an ambulance. It's an ambulance. It's a little hospital on it's wheels. It's an ambulance. It's an ambulance. It's an ambulance. It's a little hospital on wheels. You can call it up. Emergencies. The siren turns on and it races to the scene. Some are yellow and green, some red, white or blue. But they're all here to help me and you. So many neat things in an ambulance. Like oxygen tanks and first aid kits. There's a stretcher in the back. The patient lays on. They've got bandages and medicine. And a siren on top that goes. The siren turns on, all the cars move it's out of the ambulance. way. It's an ambulance, it's an ambulance, it's an ambulance, it's a little hospital on it's wheels. It's an ambulance, it's an ambulance, it's an ambulance, it's a little hospital on wheels. And remember, boys and girls, only call an ambulance in a real emergency. It's an ambulance, it's an ambulance. Now let me show you one of my favorite parts. <laughs> Come on. Ooh, yeah, this is the kitchen. And this is a fridge <laughs> with a lot of food in it. Here's another one. Wow, firefighters work really long days and nights, and so they have to have a kitchen so they can eat and stay nice and healthy. Oh, hey, look, here's some food. Ooh, this looks tasty. We have some salad, a potato, we even have some chips, oh, and a strawberry. Yum! So what we're doing now is we're just getting ready for a training exercise. Yeah, we're doing really good. What's that? Yeah, I see lights, I hear a siren. That must mean that there's a fire. We gotta go help some people. Let's go, come on. Oh, do you hear that? That's the sirens and the lights. We need to get all of our fire equipment on. Okay, first, our pants and the boots. We need to take off our shoes. One shoe. Two shoes. All right, I need to hurry. All right, here we go. Got my boots on. <laughs> All right, here we go. Pull off my pants. Nice, nice and buckled. Put on my suspenders over my orange suspenders. All right, tight, tighten that up. Oh. All right, Ooh, my jacket. Mm -hmm. Put this on. All of this will keep me safe when I'm at the fire. Here we go. We need to zip it up. Ooh. There's the zipper. Put it in there like that. There we go. Velcro. 
Okay, uh, then we have the helmet. This will keep my head safe. Perfect. Tighten it up. And then, last but not least, my two gloves. Mm -hmm. All right. Man, I got ready really quick because I don't know what's happening there. All right, let's go. something else really cool to show you. First, I need to take off my helmet. Let's put that right up there. The next thing I have to do is put on a mask. This goes all around my head to keep my ear and my hair safe. <laughs> all right. Woo, all right, check out my sweet hood. <laughs> yeah, this is the color black. All right. The next piece of equipment I'm gonna put on is this mask. This mask is gonna help protect my eyes and then be able to deliver clean oxygen so I can breathe in the smoke. Are you ready? Ooh, look at me now. I have my mask on. Hey, if there's a firefighter trying to help you, they might look like this. But that's okay, they're not scary. They're just trying to help you. Okay, let me put on my helmet now. There we go. Now that it's nice and snug, <laughs> I'm gonna put on the air tank. Woo! Yeah! Look, it's an air tank. This is what provides air to me. Just like... Now I can breathe when I'm going through a burning house. Do you hear that? So what that is, is air coming from the tank, going through the tube into my mouth. So then smoke doesn't come inside. All right, let's go check out some more of the fire station. Woo! All right, now let me show you some of the parts of the fire truck. Whoa, look at this. This is a really big wheel and tire. Whoa, it's silver and black. <laughs> okay, let me show you inside the fire truck. Check it out. Oh, 
Whoa, that's really neat in there. They look like they're ready to go to a fire. <laughs> oh, look at this. Whoa, there are so many gauges. Huh, interesting. There's so many, I don't even know what they're for. <laughs> Ooh, look at in here. Whoa, one compartment. Another compartment? And this compartment has fire extinguishers. Let's count them. One, two, three. Good job, come on. Interesting, more things. Like a little broom. It's nice and clean. Let's go to the back. Where are you going? Come over here. Do you see those? There's so many different sizes of hoses. Oh, interesting. All right, what else do we have? Hey, here's a compartment. Whoa, look in there. Whee! This is a really big ladder. So then the firefighters can go up really high and save people off of roofs and windows. I'll lock it back up. There we go. Ooh, what's in here? Huh, hey. Yeah, a chainsaw. So much great equipment on a fire truck. Hey, another compartment. Hey, bolt cutters, an axe. Wow, even look, yeah, even <laughs> a hammer. All right, I'll just set that right there. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. This is where you connect the fire hydrant to the fire truck. And let me show you. Have you ever wondered what this thing is at a fire station? Yeah. This is what connects to the fire engine's exhaust. So then, no smoke from the fire truck goes inside. Yeah. All right. That was awesome. Ooh. <laughs> that was so much fun learning about fire engines. Medic units, <laughs> ambulances, and the life of a firefighter at the fire station. Hey, it's really important to know what number to call if there's an emergency. So be sure to ask a grown up what number to call if there is an emergency, like a fire. Hey, it's also really important to have a working smoke detector and carbon monoxide detector. So then if there's ever a problem, it will chirp like this. Yeah, and then you can call the emergency number. So then you'll get some help. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. Flippy, good job. See you soon, bye-bye! Woo! Look at this! This is a fire department helicopter toy. Ooh, and today, we're at the Los Angeles City Fire Department Air Operations. And let me tell you, I have a surprise for you! <laughs> It's a real fire department helicopter! I am so excited to learn about fire department helicopters today with you! Are you ready? Let's go! Woo! 
Okay, now let's check out the inside of the fire department helicopter. Come on! <laughs> we have to open up the door. Whoa, do you see in here? This, yeah, is the cab of the helicopter. Come in here. Whoa, there's so many cool things in here. First, let me show you the cockpit. Whoa, look up there. There's so many cool instruments, gadgets, radios. Whoa. <sighs> okay, for now, I'll show you the cab. Ooh, there's a lot of seats in here. See? I'm gonna go to this one. Whoa, hey, the seat has a seat belt. I'm gonna put it on. All right, buckle up. Ooh, you see, I'm in this seat, and there's another seat, there's another seat. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, and there's actually another seat in the back. Yeah, five, you're sitting on it. <laughs> That's funny. Whoa. Look at this! Look at this giant backpack! There's a bunch of medical supplies in here. Whoa! This is what they take down to the ground to help people. Whoa! Look at this light! Whoa! <laughs> it's the color blue and it's shining on my face. So these light, lights are really dim. So then from there you can use your MVGs, your night vision goggles, and see at night so it doesn't blind you. Whoa! Whoa, this is a headset. Wow, you put it on your ears. And then, has a microphone right here. But I have to plug it in first. Check this out. Get ready, listen. Whoa, can you hear me? <laughs> I sound funny. I'm talking through the microphone right now. Whoa, flying in a helicopter. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll show you more of that later. But for now, look at this. This, whoa, is a med deck. I can pull it out. It's nice and flat. Keeps the spine of the patient nice and flat. Okay, gotta put it back in here. Okay, there we go. Wow. It was so cool seeing the inside of the cab of the helicopter. Whoa, so many cool things. Whoa, what's this? Blippi, this is our hook for our rescue hoist. Oh, a hook on the rescue, wait, wait a second. Who are you? I'm Pilot Sharif. <laughs> what do you do? Well, today I'm the hoist operator on our air ambulance at the LAFD Air Operations. Ooh, that's cool. Wait. What's in your hand? This is called a pendant. It's what controls our hook. We can lower or raise it with this controller here. Whoa, this is the controller of the hoist. Wow, can you show me all of this stuff I in sure, action? I sure can. Would you like to try our, our hot seat? This is how we rescue people who really aren't hurt on the ground. In a hot, a hot seat? I wonder what a hot seat is. Well, our hot seat oh, looks like a jacket. Go ahead and put your helmet on. Okay. And you already have safety glasses on, so yep. that works. <laughs> Look, I'm wearing a white helmet. This okay. works just like a jacket, and okay. it's a simple harness that allows us to bring you up into the helicopter safely Ooh. without falling through. Okay, so this is a harness that if I'm on the ground, you hoist down, or someone hoists down, to come save me, right? That's right, and they help you put this on just like this. Okay. And they'll connect you to the hook once you get down on the ground. Okay. They'll lower the hook down to you, and then we'll connect it. Whoa. And when you're ready, we'll bring you up. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> it's like I'm flying. We'll bring you all the way up to the helicopter. Okay. We'll bring you in, and then blip people will be safe. Whoa, cool. Fly away. Well, thank you so much for showing me this. Oh, you're welcome. All right. It was nice to meet you, Blippi. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> wow, this is so much fun. <laughs> hey, wait. Hey, wait a second. Come back. I'm stuck. Hey, hello. Hey, oh, no.
while the tug tugs the helicopter. <laughs> Okay, just to let you know, helicopters are at airports, and also airplanes are at airports. And if there's ever a problem at an airport, they have a big truck called a foam truck. Oh, hey, look, there's a foam truck right over there. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay, so what foam trucks do are they spray foam and water out the front just in case if there's ever anything at the airport, like a fire. So what we're gonna do is show you it's spraying water out of the turret. See, there's the first turret. Whoa, that's so powerful. Are you ready for the second turret? All right, here we go. Whoa, you see that? There's one turret. big machine. Oh hey, up here, this is the cockpit. This is where the pilot and the co-pilot sit. So then they fly the helicopter. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> and back here, this is the cab. 
Yeah, this is where all the passengers sit. And this helicopter is so big that 14 people can be inside here. 14? That is so many people. Whoa. Oh, look at this. This is a spotlight. Ready? <laughs> yeah, also known as the night sun. This is used to shine so then anyone can, everyone can see everything at night. Whoa, so bright. Ooh, and back here, these, this is a water tank. And you fill it up right here. Grab the hose. <laughs> Bring on the water. Then this fills up with water. And then from there you fly over things. <laughs> and you pour water on things like fires. So then you can save people. Wow, what a cool machine. Let's see what else there is. Come on. Whoa, look down there. Wait a second. What's this doing here? Huh, you know how some helicopters have landing skids? This helicopter has wheels and tires. Wow, that is so interesting. Huh, cool. Ooh. Whoa, wait a second. You've seen this before, right? Yeah, this is a number. Yeah, one, two, three. The number three. Wow. Oh, let's open this up. Whoa. Check it out. That's a cargo compartment. It's pretty dark in there. <laughs> Come on. Oh, hey. Los Angeles Fire Department. Oh, they're pretty cool. <laughs> Ooh, wow, this is a horizontal stabilizer fin. It keeps the helicopter stable. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, look up there. That's the tail rotor. Whoa, <laughs> it's so high up there. And this, it looks pretty big, but in reality, that's the smaller rotor. But this one, the main rotor, come here. It is so big. Do you see it up there? Whoa. This main rotor has five blades. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Whoa, it's so high up there. Anyways, I was just trying to touch it. <laughs> Whoa, look at this! The exhaust! <laughs> All the exhaust from the jet engine gets pushed out of there. Wait a second, I just said jet engine. Yeah, look! Whoa, that's the jet engine. There's two of them on this helicopter. One on this side and one on the other. This is where it produces all of its power. And one of the places that it uses its power is the transmission. Whoa, that is so cool looking up there. Oh, hey, look at this. You see right here? This is where you refuel the helicopter. We won't mess with that. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Ooh, <laughs> check out my sweet dance moves. <laughs> okay, anyways, look at this. This is the hoist. Whoa. It goes down. Yeah, about 300 feet roughly. <laughs> that is so much. And then it can save people by going. <laughs> Thanks so much for learning about the exterior parts of the helicopter with me. <laughs> Yeehaw! Now 
it's time for the firefighting helicopter song. Here. <laughs> it looks just like a real life fire truck with the hose and horns honk, 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 <laughs> and some really big wheels and tires. <laughs> I think it would be so cool to be a real life firefighter. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, look at it. It's a real life firefighter pole. Woo. <laughs> Hey, let's slide down to the bottom. Okay, let's do it on the count of three. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Whoa, I'm a little bit dizzy after that. <laughs> oh, look at it, it's a firefighter. Hello. <laughs> I think it's a really important job to be a firefighter because they help save people's lives and put out fires with a really big water hose. <laughs> hey, look, that's another job you could be. You could be a pilot. Yeah, and fly really big airplanes. <laughs> hey, you could also be an engineer. Ooh, well, what does an engineer do? They're really good at math. Yeah, like adding up numbers and subtracting numbers. Whew. And they plan all types of things so that other people can build them. <laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> hey, what do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> that sounds really cool. I want to be that too. <laughs> hey. I have a really cool idea. How about you and I go to this place where we can pretend to do all kinds of different jobs? Oh, 
snow would be so exciting and fun. And then you can pick your favorite job. <laughs> okay, will you go with me today? <laughs> yeah! Come on, let's go. I'll see you there. <laughs> hey, we made it to Great Explorations Children's Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida. <laughs> yeah, and I am so excited to learn all about jobs. Let's go. Woohoo! <sighs> this is one of my favorite places. This is a pizza oven inside of a pizza restaurant. Ooh. One job that you can have when you grow up is to be a chef. Ooh. Chefs are so cool. <laughs> yeah, chefs are in charge of cooking all of the food at a restaurant. And I really like cooking pizza. <sighs> it's so tasty. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. How about you and I make a pizza together? <laughs> okay, here we go. First, we need one of these pizza paddles to put the pizza in the really hot oven because we don't want to touch it with our hands. Mm -mm. Okay, we got that and we'll get a metal plate. Hmm. So first things first, we need to start with the pizza dough. <laughs> yeah, we'll get the pizza dough right here. Ooh. And sometimes when you get the pizza dough, it's crumpled up into a little ball. So you have to stretch it, and sometimes spin it, whoa, <laughs> like this, and that helps to make it look like a circle. Yeah, look, it's a circle. <laughs> Good job. Okay, put the pizza dough down, and now we get to put on some yummy toppings. <laughs> hey, do you have a favorite pizza topping? Uh, I like that one too. Okay, let's get started. Okay. We'll put on some tomato sauce. Oh, and my favorite cheese. Oh, I love pizza with lots of cheese. Okay, we'll put the cheese there. And now we can put all the toppings. We have some spinach. Ooh, so tasty. And we have black olives. Whoa. And they're all sliced up. Yeah, put those there. We have, whoa. Woo. Do you know what these are? Yeah, these are mushrooms. We'll put these on too. We'll put on some onions, ooh. <laughs> and then once you get your pizza made, then put it into the oven. You'll wait. And it looks like our pizza is delicious and all done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now we get to go put it in a box. Come on. Whoa, you did a really good job making a pizza with me. And now it's my favorite part. <laughs> we get to eat the pizza. <gasps> mm, this pizza is really tasty. Mm -hmm. And that's because you helped me make it. Aw, <laughs> thanks so much. Wow, that was so cool learning about being a chef and making a lot of yummy pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whoa! There are so many different types of animals. I love animals. Hey, do you have a favorite kind of animal? <laughs> yeah, I like that animal too. Whoa, look, we have some kitty cats. And we have, hmm, this looks like a really big puppy dog. Hello, puppy dog. <laughs> <laughs> so silly. Whoa, look. We have a really colorful parrot and a bunny rabbit. <laughs> yeah, let's go get a closer look. Come on. Whoa, look at this place. This place is a veterinarian's office. Yeah, a veterinarian or a vet. And that's a person that takes care of hurt or sick animals. <laughs> yeah, whoa, look. We have some really cute animals here. Hello. <laughs> ah, this is such a cute puppy, but we want to make sure that this puppy is okay. So the first thing you can do is take it to get an MRI. Yeah, an MRI. 
It's basically a scanner that uses magnets to take pictures of this puppy, but not pictures on the outside where it's smiling, <laughs> pictures of all the stuff inside, like its bones to make sure they're not broken and this puppy is doing really okay. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, puppy. Whoa, look at it. The MRI is showing the inside of this puppy's leg. Whoa, that's pretty cool. <laughs> well, this puppy seems to be pretty okay, but it looks like it hurt its leg. So we're gonna take care of it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. The first thing we wanna do is put a bandage on its leg. So I'll use some dots. Oh, look, <laughs> we did it. We bandaged up this puppy. He's gonna be all better real soon. And the next thing we wanna do is give this puppy some medicine. Here you go, puppy. Up, up. <laughs> He's happy and feeling better already. <laughs> yeah. And the last thing we wanna do is we wanna put this cone around its head because sometimes puppies get really playful and they take off their bandages. We don't wanna take it off until he's all better. <laughs> he is so cute. <laughs> yeah. I love being a veterinarian. Being a vet with you was really fun because we got to learn about animals and take care of them if they get sick or hurt. <laughs> Whoa, this was awesome. Whoa, look at what it is. It's a fire truck, <laughs> yeah. Whoa, fire trucks are so cool. And look at this, it has really big wheels and tires. Whoa, <laughs> and really bright headlights and a metal bumper. <laughs> I bet it would be really fun to ride in one of these. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> wow. It is so much fun riding in a fire truck. And look up here. Yeah. This right here is the firefighter's siren. And it goes like this. Yeah. When a firefighter has to go and help people from a fire, they turn this on and they honk their horns. And that lets everyone know in the area that there's an emergency and they should move off the street. Yeah. So they can get there nice and quick and safely. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this. This is a very important part of a fire truck. This is the fire ladder, and it's really helpful for helping firefighters get up to really high buildings to save people and to use their hose to put out the fires. Oh look, and these are the valves where you hook up the hose. But this is a really big, fire hose. It's not like a regular hose you might have in your yard. <laughs> it's really, really, really powerful to push out the fires and make everyone safe. <laughs> yeah, come on. Whoa, look at this. This is the fire pole. Whoa, the fire pole is really helpful because in a firehouse, the firefighters, they live up on the second floor and the fire truck is on the first floor, so the pole helps them not have to take the stairs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and do you see this? Yeah. This is a firefighter's uniform. It is so cool because it's fireproof. Yeah. If you or I were in a fire, that would be really dangerous because our clothes are flammable. They can catch on fire, but not a firefighter. They can go and save you because they're fireproof. Whoa, and you see the helmet? Yeah, look at this. This firefighter has a really cool yellow helmet. And that protects their head from anything that might fall on it. Ooh. Whoa, and do you see this? <laughs> yeah, this is the really powerful fire hose. Whoa, this is so cool. There are so many different uh, adjustment valves. And look, it's really, really big so that it can have a very powerful spray put out all the fires. <laughs> yeah. Wow, maybe one day you and I can be firefighters too. We can help save people. But to be a firefighter, you have to be really, really brave. Yeah, brave. Hey, do you know what being brave means? 
Yeah, when you're brave, that means you might be scared of something, but you do it anyway because you're gonna help help people and keep them safe. <laughs> well, I really want to do a job that will help people too. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. Woo! Look at where we are! Yeah! A job that you can do when you grow up is being a nurse! <laughs> yeah! Being a nurse is a really great job because you help take care of others and make sure they get better when they might be sick. <laughs> Let's go see everything that a nurse does! Yeah! Whoa! Look at this! Did you see it? This right here is a skeleton. Whoa, <laughs> there are so many bones. Yeah, bones. Do you know what a bone is? Yeah, these are different types of bones. And a bone is what helps make you up. Yeah, helps you stand nice and tall. Ooh, yeah. it's right under your skin. Bones are really important and it's important to take care of your bones. Well, it's really good to learn about bones because if you ever break a bone, you can go to a nurse and they can help you. Come on. <sighs> look at this box. It's really bright. Ah! <laughs> this will help us look at different kinds of x-rays. Yeah. Whoa, this right here, this is an x-ray. And it kind of just looks like a dark sheet, <laughs> but it actually is a picture of the inside of your hand. So when you put it up here, you can read the x-ray. Yeah, you can see all the different bones inside your hand. Whoa, and this is really helpful to take a picture, an x-ray of your hand, because if you break a bone, the nurse can say, hmm, you broke this bone and now we can fix it. Okay. <laughs> wow, x-rays and nurses are pretty amazing. Whoa, and look at this over here. Another thing you do when you go see a nurse is you see how tall you are. Whoa, look, I'm five feet and 11 inches tall. That's pretty tall. <laughs> hey, do you know how tall you are? Whoa, <laughs> that's pretty tall too. And I bet when you grow up, you'll be even taller. Maybe five foot 11 or six foot or six foot one inch or seven feet tall. Whoa, that's really tall. <laughs> Being a nurse is an amazing job. Maybe one day I'll be a nurse when I grow up and I can help make people feel better. <laughs> yeah. Well, this was really exciting. Hey, I'll see you in just one second. Woo. Hey, <laughs> whoa, that was so much fun learning about all those different types of jobs. <laughs> there were a lot of them, whoa. <laughs> Hey, which one was your favorite job? <laughs> yeah, I like that one a lot too. It was really fun doing that with you. <laughs> Whoa, look at this over here. Come on. Whoa, <laughs> do you see what it says? Curiosity Corner. Whoa. That means it's time for the Curiosity Corner, where you and I get to learn all types of things. <laughs> hmm, but I wonder what we're gonna learn today. I guess you and I are just gonna have to find out. I'm so excited. Let's go. <laughs> hey, welcome to the Curiosity Corner, where we get to paint a really beautiful picture together. <laughs> and it looks like we have everything we need. We have our paints, ooh, <laughs> look, we have three different colors. Blue, yellow, and red. <laughs> These colors are really important because they're primary colors. And primary colors are used to mix, get mixed up and make every other color in the rainbow. So we're gonna use these to paint a beautiful picture. Well, we're gonna need our palette with paints and a paintbrush. Okay, so let's wet our brush first. Then we get the paint. Okay, so first we want to make a really cool orange because it's my favorite fruit and favorite color. So we'll start with some yellow. Whoa, <laughs> it's so fun to mix up the paints. We're gonna make a circle. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Whoa, look, we made a yellow circle, but it's not quite the right color. So now we're gonna add another primary color, red. Just a little bit of red, and a little bit of water, and then we can mix it up to make an orange. Whoa, look at how pretty that color is. It has little bits of red and little bits of yellow and a lot of bit of orange. <laughs> Whoa, that was so much fun learning about colors with you and painting a really pretty picture. It's time for me to go wash out my brush. <laughs> Looks like we got some traffic here. <laughs> Whoa! That was so much fun learning about all those different kinds of jobs with you. <laughs> Whoa, there were so many different kinds. <laughs> well, even if you didn't pick your favorite today, that's okay. You have all the time in the world. <laughs> Just keep on exploring and being curious and I'm sure you'll find what you will want to do when you grow up. <laughs> well, I'm having a lot of fun with these trucks. This fire truck and recycling truck. Whoa, and this construction vehicle with an excavator arm. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. Bye. Hey, look at what I just rode up in. Yeah, it's a police car. And today we are going to learn about police cars. what it is. It's a police car. Will you come check out the parts of the police car with me? Yeah, come on. Ooh, look at this light bar up here. There's the red lights and the blue lights over there. And speaking of lights, whoa, look at the spotlight. Whoa, whoa. Whoa! It's so bright! <laughs> Ooh! And the front of the police car has this push bar. This is used to help push vehicles off to the side of the road that are broken down. And then down here, this is a speaker. Listen! You there, clear the road. <laughs> That was awesome! Ooh! And one of my favorite parts, the engine. This is where the car gets all of its power from. Ooh! And the oil. Will you check it with me? <laughs> Allergy season. <laughs> okay. Ooh, look. Yeah. The oil looks good to me. So let's put the dipstick back and let's shut the hood and let's head to the back. Ooh, and look down here. The wheels and the tires. Oh, and look right here. Two words, 
The first word is Olympia. O L Y M P I A. And the second word is police. P O L I C E. Olympia police. And last but not least, the trunk. There's some cool stuff back here. Whoa! Road flares. Ooh, a speed gun. And some cones. Even some caution tape. I'll show you this stuff later. But for now, it's time to dance. Inside the police vehicle with me? Yeah, come on! <laughs> Whoa! Wow! Now we're inside the vehicle! Look at this! Look at the switch, do you see it? I'm gonna push it all the way to the right, and those are the lights! Look! Whoa! Those are so bright. <laughs> okay, I'll turn them off now. Okay, I turn those off and look at this. See, I just turned that on. That's the spotlight. Do you see it? Whoa. <laughs> okay, let's turn that off. And what else is in here? <laughs> Whoa. The steering wheel! Whoa! <laughs> and, um, ooh! The intercom. Hello, hello! I see you! It's Blippi! <laughs> That's funny. And, oh, speaking of noise and sound, look at this. This right here, this button. Listen. <laughs> yeah, that's the siren. Ooh, and the computer. <laughs> yeah. Woohoo! That is so cool. It's the Blippi police car song. Okay. And uh, I have some more fun stuff to show you over here. Come on. Shut the door. in here. This is the patrol bag. There's so many cool gadgets and goodies in here. Whoa, like binoculars. Whoa, I can see so far. Whoa, <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay, put those down there. Ooh, stuffed rhino. <laughs> A camera. <laughs> um. Ooh, flashlight. Hello, hello. So you can see in the dark. Whoa. First aid kit. Ooh. And handcuffs. So cool. <laughs> I like handcuffs. Okay, let's try it on. Put it on. Oh, now that you have handcuffs on, you can't get them off. Ah, ah. But luckily, whoa, I have a set of handcuff keys. Put that right there. Do a little twisty. And then I got them off. It's like magic. Okay, let's put these back. Ooh. And last but not least, every police officer has to have a pair 
of sunglasses. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Now I'm a police officer. <laughs> Gang, check out this. This is where you put the suspects. Whoa! The door doesn't even have a handle on it. And the seats are plastic and really uncomfortable. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh. 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 <laughs> I don't like being back here. <laughs> and no handles are like child safety locks, but for adults. <laughs> hey, this is a speed measuring device. It uses a laser to bounce off a car and come back. And it'll tell me how fast someone's going. We're out here on a street corner looking for speeders. There's one now. Whoa, he's going way too fast. Let's go get him. Sir, I need to talk to you about your speeding. Ooh, I'm sorry. What can I say? Heavy foot. <laughs> well, I'll give you a warning for today, but we're okay. just out here trying to keep everybody safe. All right, thank you. Speaking of that, Ooh. we're looking for this person. Have you happened to seen him? Oh, nope. That gentleman looks like he's wearing glasses. I sure don't. Oh, you're right. Well, let me give you this. Okay. Call us if you see him. Okay. Drive safe. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs> Whoa, that was a close one! <laughs> Hello! Hey! Let's look at what's inside the back of the police car a little bit better. Hmm! Woo! Look! We have a police officer's hat. <laughs> and... Yeah! A safety vest? Oh, and it's bright yellow. Look at it. Wow. Okay. Nice bright yellow safety vest. <laughs> How do I look? Okay. Oh, and I got my hat on. And oh, look. Four orange road cones. One. Two, three, four. Okay. Ooh, and look, a road flare. Wow. Put that in my pocket. <laughs> and road spikes. Okay. Set those down. Let's close the trunk. Okay. First things first. Ooh, road spikes. Take a close look at these. Wow, look at that. Whoa, those are sharp. Okay, let's put this right there. Put this over here. <laughs> okay, ready? Watch this. Okay. We're gonna set up this traffic course for the police car. And the police car is gonna make sure it doesn't drive on these because these are really sharp. Okay, let's take the four road cones and put one right here. Come on. <laughs> and let's put the second one right there. One, two, And let's put the third one right here. One, two, three. And we got one more. Come on. Okay, how about right here? Ready? Yeah. One, two, three, four. I almost forgot my favorite part, the road flare. Whoa, okay, this 
is not a toy. Not for kids, so here we go. Whoa. <laughs> okay, let's put it down right here and let's start this course. Barely missed the spikes! <laughs> Good job! That was so much fun learning about police vehicles! Now it's time for the police car song! Dial 911 and the police will come driving in there. That was really fun singing, dancing, <laughs> to the police car song with you. Hey, I have something really important to tell you. You are very special. You are an amazing child. I am so excited to see what great things you do on our planet by making it a better place and helping people out. Last but not least, thanks for being my friend. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> well, I gotta go now. But if you wanna hang out with me some more, you know how to find me. Yeah, just search for my name. You know my name, right? Yeah, it's Blippi. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi, that's my name. Good job! <laughs> See you soon! Bye! Whoa! Did you see that? I just rode up in a police car! <gasps> Look at what's behind me! It's a police helicopter! Are you ready to learn about police helicopters today? Yeah! Let's go!
at the helicopter. It's so neat. Would you like to learn the parts of the helicopter with me? Come on. Come down here. This, this is a camera and infrared system. This is where, from the helicopter, they can search and find suspects. Huh? And then up here, this is where the pilot and the co-pilot, the TFO, sit. And the landing skids. Landing skids are kind of like our feet. You can land on the ground anywhere you want. <laughs> Woo! Look down here. This, this is the PA system. This is how you communicate with the ground. Really loud speakers. Listen. <laughs> Woo! And right here, this is a cargo compartment. Look, I'll open it up. Oh, that's where you store all the tie downs and the cover for the helicopter. And one of my favorite parts. This is called the night sun. It's basically a spotlight, so then you can point it at night and see what you're looking at. Whoa! This is an antenna. This down here is an antenna. And whoo, this is an antenna. <gasps> Whoa! This is the name, the number, and letters of the helicopter. Will you read it with me? N668PD. Will you do that again? N six six eight P D. Great job! Come on. Ooh, this is the horizontal stabilizer fin. And look, there's a light right there. That light on the left side is red, and on the right side of the helicopter is the color green. Come on, let's go to the other side. And right here, this is the tail rotor. The tail rotor is what controls the helicopter's spin from going left, woo, and right. Whoa! So this is the rear tail rotor. I didn't tell you about the main rotor. Come on. Wow! See up there? That's where the helicopter produces all of its lift from. Helicopters are so cool. Hey, this is the fuel truck. In the back here, there's a lot of fuel. And she's gonna get out and hook the hose to the helicopter, watch. Oh, she's putting on gloves. So she put on gloves so none of the chemicals in the fuel touch her bare hands. Oh hey, there's the fuel cap. Ooh, it's getting nice and full. Now that the helicopter is full of fuel, we can take it for a spin. We're about to ride inside the helicopter. We all wore seatbelts and headsets, and they even wore helmets. I'm ready. What they're doing here is turning on the engine of the helicopter. See? See the main rotor spin? Whoa! It's spinning so fast! Whoa! And there we go! We have
flew past the Griffith Observatory. Football! Who wants a football? <laughs> and you can't forget about the Dodgers Stadium. TFO asked me if I wanted to go to the beach. So without a doubt, I said yeah! It was a great time flying in the LAPD helicopter. There was no crime and everyone was safe. Wow! Look, now we're inside the helicopter. I'll tell you about what's inside the helicopter, but first, let me shut the door. Okay, now that we're all locked in, we need to buckle up. Okay, one belt around my waist. And two, one, two, over my shoulders. Whoa, look, it's like a joystick. This is the cyclic. This is what you use to operate the helicopter. And the instrument panel. Wow, like the altitude, the airspeed, the RPMs, the aviation radios, the police radios. Wow. Oh, hey, let me unbuckle to show you this. Look at this. This screen, that's where you see the camera, the FLIR, and this is how you operate it. Look at this controller. It's so neat. It's like a video game. <laughs> oh, and last but not least, binoculars. These are used for suspects from far away, so you can see them. Wow, I can see so far. <laughs> Whoa, hey, <laughs> that's funny. Up, up, up in the sky every night and day. There's a superhero that can fly, and it's here to keep us safe. Police helicopters are used to give the officers on the ground another set of eyes, also known as backup, as well as help capture the suspects. And so then all the citizens are nice and safe. Hey, look at what I got. 
a garbage truck toy. <gasps> a real garbage truck? Are you ready to learn about garbage trucks and recycling today? Yeah, let's go. Now, let's learn some of the parts of the garbage truck. Come on. <laughs> first things first, the cab. Woo! Look at who it is. It's Tony. Hey, Tony. Hi, kid. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> that, the cab, is where the garbage truck driver sits and steers the garbage truck. Whoa! <laughs> it's so high, though. How do they get up there? <gasps> Let me show you. Come on. These are the steps. <laughs> That's so fun. I love garbage trucks. Whoa, look at right here. You know what this is. It's a fire extinguisher. Just in case if there's any fire near or on the garbage truck. Garbage trucks are really safe. You'll soon learn that. Because <laughs> let me teach you. Here's some more safety features of the garbage truck. Look. Do you know what these are? They're tire chains. Just in case, if the road gets really icy and slippery, you wrap them around the tires so then the garbage truck can drive straight and not slip and slide. <laughs> oh, look, reflective tape. This is for light to hit and bounce off and make the truck really bright at night. Garbage trucks are so safe. Oh, look, a spill kit, another safety feature. This yellow bag contains absorbent pads just in case if there's any ewy and icky things on the ground that you can't scoop or broom up into the garbage truck. So you use the spill kit. Oh, come back here. I have something really cool to show you. Oh, whoa, hurry, come here. Look, <laughs> airbags, watch this. Whoa, did you see that? The garbage truck just lowered because of those airbags. And you use those airbags right before you dump. Oh, and look, this is how you dump the recycled goods out of the garbage truck. This opens up because these hydraulic cylinders push the back door really open and then it dumps all the compressed goods out of it. But first, we need some stuff in it. How do you get it in there? <laughs> the coolest part, let me show you. Come on. Hurry, come here. <laughs> Watch this. This is the grabber arm. It goes, uh, 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 uh. it's like a claw. It grabs the can, pulls it in, brings it up, and dumps it into the hopper. Oh, look, the hopper up there. And then it gets pushed into the compression body right here, and it gets compressed really tight, and then it gets dumped, dumped out the back, like I said. Wow, I love garbage trucks.
know the parts of a garbage truck and how it works, let's learn about the differences between garbage and recycling. Garbage, you only can use once and then you throw it away. Stuff like kitty litter, bubble gum, or even like a dirty diaper. P.U. <laughs> yeah. You only use that stuff once and then you throw it away. But recycling, you can use it many times because it might get melted down or just processed back into the original product or something similar made out of the same material. And if it can, it's recyclable. Let me show you some of the things that I brought from home to recycle today. Oh look, a milk jug. That's plastic, you can recycle plastic. And then a tin can. Oh. An aluminum can. Ooh, plastic bags. Oh, a spray bottle. That's plastic. Ooh, a glass bottle. <laughs> and even a cardboard box. All those things you can recycle. Now that we know the difference between garbage and recyclable goods, let's visit a recycling facility and sort out some recyclable goods. We're at the recycling facility. First, we need our safety equipment on before we go inside. Okay, beautiful, bright vest, bright hard hat, and safety glasses, and suspenders. We have all the recyclable materials out of the truck. Now we get to sort it. This is gonna be fun. All the recycled materials come up the conveyor belt and then they need to be sorted because there's so many different kinds like paper, plastic, cardboard, aluminum, tin. There's so many. Here, let's go sort some. Ah. All of the recyclable goods travel down these conveyor belts. Workers sort them out by the different types of materials. And once it gets sorted out to one type of material, like this cardboard, it then gets crushed and compact into this tight log of one material. Then a forklift comes up, picks it up, and transports it to a different part of the warehouse. And when the material is ready to be transported onto the back of a semi to go somewhere else to be recycled, a forklift loads it into the back of a semi. That was so much fun seeing inside a real recycling facility. Now, let me turn up those tunes so we can dance to and sing my garbage truck song. Garbage trucks, garbage trucks, driving through the town, picking cans up off the ground. Garbage trucks, sometimes when I wake up early in the morning I hear a monstrous sound I look out the window and there's a garbage truck Picking cans up off the ground It empties the can and puts it back down Then drives away so loud Garbage trucks Garbage trucks Driving through the town, picking cans up off the ground Garbage trucks The garbage man drives up in the garbage truck 
then picks that garbage up. He dumps it in the back so that it can be crushed. Then he drives off to the dump. He backs up to a pile of all the trash from the town and dumps the whole thing out. Garbage trucks. Garbage trucks. Driving through the town, picking cans up off the ground. Garbage trucks. They come in many colors Some are blue, some are brown, and some are green And wouldn't you know it There are some that can pick up recycling yeah. Garbage trucks Garbage trucks Driving through the town, picking cans up off the ground Garbage trucks Garbage trucks Garbage trucks Driving through the town Picking cans up off the ground Garbage trucks Jeez Louise, this video had a lot of great information. Today we learned about garbage trucks, recycling trucks, and recycling. If you liked this video and you want to watch more of my videos, all you gotta do is search for my name. Do you know my name? Yeah, it's Blippi. Let's spell it together. B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi, that's my name. Good job. All right, see you soon. Bye. <laughs> oh, hey, it's me, Blippi, and look at where I'm at. Yeah, I am at Valley Auto in Tenino, Washington. This is where they work on vehicles. Whoa, do you see that truck up there? Whoa, it's so high up there. That's crazy. Whoa, so many cool machines in here. Come on. Whoa, look at this big truck. Do you see how it's on the ground? Yeah, they're on the ground, but then they use these big things called lifts to go underneath and lift it up to the sky. So then the mechanics can work underneath the truck and car, so then they don't have to bend down or be uncomfortable. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at this. Whoa, this is so heavy. Wow, this is a battery. Yeah, most vehicles have batteries, so then it helps them turn on. Yeah, land also, turn on the radio. <laughs> and things like that. Yeah, batteries have electricity stored inside. Ooh, look at these. These are hose clamps. Whoa, there's a small one, and here is a big one. These are what goes around hoses, clamps them nice and tight. Hey, what shape are these? Yeah, these are circles. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? All right, let's put those back. And let's keep exploring. Whoa, look at all of these. Do you see these? Wow, this right here, yeah, is a nut, washer, and a bolt. This is what you use to tighten things. Yeah, nice and close together. Like say if there is a piece of metal right here and another piece of metal, you could tighten it nice and tight so then it doesn't slip and slide. <laughs> All right, let's put that back. Uh, <laughs> okay, woo, so cool. Whoa, this is a massive engine. That looks so powerful. Wow. So cool. Well, hey, let's see. Oh, look at this. 
Remember earlier how I said that the lift lifts up the truck so the mechanic can stand up nice and tall? Well, sometimes you might not have a lift and you need to get really low on the ground and work on the vehicle from the ground. Whoa! Hey! Whoa! Whee! <laughs> Look at me go! I'm a mechanic! Whee! Yeah, you can slide because it has wheels. Okay, all right, enough playing around. Let's get to work. Oh, hey, it's someone else. Who are you? Colton. Oh, nice to meet you, Colton. Well, what are you doing over there? Uh, getting ready to weld. Oh, weld? That's really cool. Hey, do you know what welding is? Yeah, welding's where you take two pieces of metal and apply some electricity, heat, some gas, and it becomes so hot, they come, become connected. Yeah, it's kind of like glue, but for metal. <laughs> well, Colt, will you show us how to do it? Yep, I just need to lift up the truck. All right, let's check it out. <laughs> Oh, do you see what they're doing? Yeah, there's, they're using those metal posts to go under the truck. So then they can work underneath it safely so it doesn't fall on them. Okay, let's watch them weld. like he has some safety gear. Check it out. <laughs> See these? Yeah, these are his gloves. It keeps his hands protected while he's welding. And this looks like his helmet. Yeah, and it has this really dark shade right here. So then he can look at what he's doing because it's too bright to look at without this. You definitely never want to look at what you're doing welding unless you have this. So if you ever see someone welding, do not look at that light, okay? Okay. Oh, here you go. <laughs> Colton did such a great job welding. Hey, Colton, thank you so much for showing us how to weld. Yep, no problem. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's keep exploring. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa. This has been so much fun. Did you see when he was welding? It looked like fireworks. Whoa. Yeah, that was awesome. Ooh. Look at this yellow toolbox. Whoa, I think we should open it up and see what tools are inside. Whoa! Whoa! Look at these socket sets. Wow! That is so nicely organized. Whoa! Remember earlier? Yeah, we were talking about those nuts. Yeah, these sockets go over the nuts. And then you use a lever to then turn it. And then you can get it nice and tight. Yeah! That is really cool. Ooh, let's see what else is in here. I love tools. They're so much fun. Whoa, look. Yeah, a wrench. Yeah, you can also use these to tighten nuts. Great, 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 great. <laughs> that is so cool. All right, let's put it away. Ooh, what else is in here? Whoa, yeah. 
A crescent wrench! Whoa! We must have a customer. Someone else will get that. But hey, check it out. A crescent wrench. <laughs> Looks like a mouth. Hello! Hello! <laughs> That's silly. Okay. Well, oh! Look at this! You know what this is? Yeah, it kind of looks like a hammer, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's actually a rubber mallet. Watch this. <laughs> yeah! You can hit things with it. Yeah! You, uh, like a tire. Watch this. <laughs> I don't know what you would do that for, but it's fun! Whoa! Yeah, a vice right here? Yeah, you can put things in here. Turn this and see it closing? Yeah, keeps things held right here so then you can work on it. Look. Yeah, looks like a fan. It looks like a fan. Yeah, this looks like a fan that goes in front of the radiator. Wow, I sure do love mechanic shops and tools. Hey, I think this is the perfect time for the tool song. Yeah! When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. The wrench tightens pipes going clang, clang. A hammer hits a nail going bang, bang, bang. A drill is making holes going zzz, zzz. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear thuds and squeaks, cracks and rings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear bangs and booms, clangs and zings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. Cutting wires with some pliers going snip, snip. Cutting paper with some scissors going clip, clip. When you're working with tools, you've got to be real safe by wearing gloves on your hands and goggles on your face. And boys and girls, when you're working with tools, always follow mom and dad's safety rules. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. When you're working with tools, working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear thuds and squeaks, cracks and rings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. You hear bangs and booms, clangs and zings. When you're working with tools, you hear all kinds of things. Whoa! Check it out! Yeah, it looks like we have some big bolts. Whoa! And we have some big nuts! Whoa! Hey, what's this doing here? Do you know what this is? Yeah, it's a steering wheel. Ten and two. <laughs> Driving a car is so much fun! You'll get there! And you need to be very safe and always wear your seatbelt. But hey, in order to drive your car, you need to maintain your vehicle. Yeah, and that is why we're at the mechanic shop. <laughs> but hey, check these out. Whoa, this is the cylinder head. Whoa, there's so many parts to an engine, and this is just one of them. Oh, and over here, this is the exhaust manifold. Whoa. Yeah, like I said, there's a lot of parts to an engine, but this is where the engine is, and then the exhaust goes through all these pipes to the back of the vehicle. Yeah, and you've probably seen exhaust pipes before. Yeah. Well, hey, I have one last thing to show you right over here. The best part about mechanic shops is cleaning up at the end of the day, and all your hard work pays off. <laughs> 
Well, this has been so much fun learning about tools with you today and welding and what it's like to be in a shop. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I, Flippy. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Whippy!